guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Coco collection and I also wanted to do some swatches for you guys. It's more of a swatches video than a review, I should say. Um, but I've been wanting to do this video for a while just because I wanted to swatch these shades for you guys because they're just so gorgeous and they're fabulous. They're just fabulous. I don't know why I didn't do it on time and then um, the like, she didn't have the Coco collection on the Kylie Cosmetics website for a while because it had sold out and I didn't know if they are going to bring it back or not, but they are bringing it back, but instead of it being in a collection, they're actually bringing it back in singles and they're doing like, they're releasing the singles um, on Thursday, March 9th, so I wanted to make sure I got this video up before then in case you guys weren't sure if you wanted to get them or not or you were a little bit interested but you wanted to see some swatches and maybe some comparison swatches, so that's what this video is for. So, if you guys are not familiar with the Coco Collection, it is a collaboration between Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Cosmetics, and it is amazing. It's so cute. It's definitely like my favorite packaging that Kylie Cosmetics has done like thus far, just because I love like the rose gold. It's like so pretty, and this packaging also is so cute. Basically, you get one gloss, and then you get kind of like a pink warm tone neutral. You get a really bright, vibrant um, like hot pink type shade and then you get this really pretty burgundy shade which I'm wearing right now. Honestly, there's nothing for me to really update you guys on as far as formula goes or any complaints that I have about this collection. Um, I will say that Gorge, the deep shade that I'm wearing right now, um, I'm not, patchy is not the right word but it's not as even as it could be but I find that that's, um, I find that a lot with Kylie Cosmetics deeper liquid lipsticks and I honestly think that that could be fixed easily if you put a lip liner underneath it, but I didn't put any lip liner underneath it today. They're not drying, they wear really well, they don't feel heavy on your lips at all. Anyway, let me go ahead into these swatches and I'm also going to show you guys the comparison swatches. So I basically just grabbed a couple liquid lipsticks out of Kylie's um, like shades that she offers that I thought looked a little bit similar to it. So. This is Gorge, and then next to it we have Blitzen, which is one of her holiday shades, and then next to that we have Court K. So you can see that Gorge is the most burgundy out of them, and these ones are a little bit more purple toned, but they definitely are kind of in the same color family um, in case you wanted to get something that was a little bit more purpley. And then down here we have Clo Money, and then Exposed, Dirty Peach, and Candy K. So obviously Dirty Peach doesn't look anything like Clo Money, but in the tube you can't really tell, so I just grabbed whichever ones that I owned that I thought like resembled Glow Money and then um, Exposed is a little bit more nude and Candy K is a little bit more deeper but um, still kind of in that nude peach family so those are my comparison swatches for you guys. I'm so excited the lighting is so good today and I'm so excited to swatch these for you guys. The first one I'm swatching is Damn Gina this is the kind of sparkly glittery pink um, nude gloss and this is actually one of my favorite shades that I use the most out of here so I'm gonna use this I'm gonna swatch this today this is the only gloss that comes um, with the Coco collection I actually, I really love this one. It is very wearable um, for it being kind of like a glittery, sparkly gloss. It pairs really well over lipsticks and lip liners. So I honestly think that it's a really pretty fun one, really pretty for the spring and summer and some more like glam looks. It has these really pretty um, reflex of like pink and purple um, little glitter or whatever in it and I think that it's just an absolutely stunning gloss definitely one of my faves next I'm gonna be swatching Clo money which is one of my favorites it's a really beautiful warm toned pink nude and I definitely wear this one a ton so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you guys I have a little bit leftover sparkle from damn Gina but I do not mind there's nothing wrong with a little bit of sparkle Again, I did not do the best swatch on this one, but I absolutely love this shade. It is drying a little bit deeper on me today, but it is just like a really gorgeous 
um, pink nude shade. It has a little bit of like peach tones in it, I feel like, a little bit warmer shades, but I feel like this is a shade that's very universal and can go with a lot of different um, makeup looks, so I really, really love Chloe Money, plus I love the name Chloe Money because I love Chloe, oh my god. This one is so pretty. I use this in my Valentine's Day tutorial. It's just a gorgeous hot pink um, liquid lipstick and I absolutely adore adore it. It's so pigmented, so vibrant, and absolutely gorgeous. And I'm surprised at how much I like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's very bold and vibrant, but absolutely so, so pretty and so much fun. It's like the best. Alright, so the next shade and the last shade that I'm swatching today is the shade Gorge. This is the one that I've gotten the least amount of use out of just because um, I feel like it's coming into springtime so I'm wanting to wear really bright colors and a lot of nice pinks and corals and not as much as these really deep vampy shades but I think that this is going to be amazing in the fall and winter time. So that is it for this video review on the Coco collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing these review videos for you guys and it's just even better that the lighting was actually good today. Anyway, if you guys want to follow me on any social media to see some more pictures of the um, products, then you guys can check out my Instagram and Twitter and all my social media links will be in the description box. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.